so, uh, here we are. We're backed out of the career mode. We're in the main menu. Uh, first of all, let's look, take a look at the Hall of Fame. Because, uh, we've unlocked all the movies now, I believe. Or all the, uh, animations, whatever. So, we got... All the trophy scenes. For every track. And, uh... Yeah, we got the career tutorial. We also have a historical movie, which I haven't looked at yet, and I'm kind of interested in what it is, so, um... Uh, we're gonna start this bonus section of the game by watching this historical movie, because I want to watch it. Pound, sprint cars are the most lethal machines ever to scatter soil. Since the turn of the century they have roamed the land, their long hoods and teardrop tails descended from the world's first racing vehicle, the 1902 Panard from France. In 1903, France. the Indiana State Fairgrounds opened its dirt mile to motorsports a full eight years and three million bricks before the first Indianapolis 500. Known as big cars, sprints bridge the gap between midgets and Indy's championship trail. In the post-World War II era of the American Automobile Association, midgets specialized in quarter miles, sprints hit the halves, and champ cars covered miles. The fastest halves were the high banks of Salem and Winchester, where the bravest living souls were regularly selected for the Indy 500. Those who held no AAA memberships were called outlaws. Far from the glamour, outlaws battled through the backwoods unfettered by rules. In several regions, stock roadsters and modifieds evolved into sprint cars. Severely chopped and channeled cars were called super modifieds. The very first Knoxville Nationals of 1961 was a super modified event. Hmm. Supers differed from sprint cars by the inclusion of roll bars above the driver. Sprints carried none. They were true widowmakers. Six lives were lost during the 1966 USAC sprint car campaign alone. Open competition at the Knoxville yeah, Nationals six. allowed sprints to attach cages. This rule change propelled Kenny Greitz to the 69 Nationals victory. Nice. Later forced to remove the cage by IMCA, Greitz was killed in a tragedy that sparked mandatory cages on sprint cars. Well, then. Ted Johnson realized this new breed of outlaws had gained acceptance, and in 1976, Ted held the Boot Hill Nationals in Shreveport, Louisiana. A year later, he leased Lincoln Speedway in Pennsylvania for two nights, and then in 1978, Johnson raised the curtain on the world of outlaws. Hmm. The Pennzoil world of outlaws became the busiest, richest, and furthest reaching sprint car series in history. Its first champion was predicted to be Rick Ferkel, known far and wide as the Ohio Traveler. But a pair of Indiana cousins stole the crown with a car belonging hey, look, to Carl Bristol. Kinzer, who had won the 74 Nationals with Dick Gaines. Carl's driver in 78 was burly Steve Kinzer, king of the first three outlaw seasons and eventual dominator of the series. The only man to interrupt 11 years of Kinzer titles was Sammy Swindell, champion in 1981 and 82. Some of the stars who chased Sammy and the Kinzers across the country were Shane Carson, Bobby Davis and Brad Doty. Love that four Davis wide salute. began as a mechanic to Sammy Swindell, while Brad had chased his boyhood hero Opperman to Pennsylvania. Uh, Bobby became champion in 89 over Sammy's brother Jeff. For another five straight seasons, Steve and Carl Kinzer returned to the top spot. We're watching Carl the history of uh, World of Outlaws. Road and swept first and second in the 91 standings. Stevie Smith joined the tour in 1990 and was second to Steve Kinzer in 92. Dave Blaney began his outlaw career in 1988. Yeah, Dave Blaney, let's go. Later stepped into Steve's vacant throne by edging fellow Ohio native Jack Hoddenshield. Steve Kinzer then took time out from the outlaws to try Winston Cup racing. His return pitted cousin against cousin as Mark and Carl competed against Steve and his crew chief, Scott Gherkin. Their first season as rivals culminated in Mark's first championship. When Mark also tested NASCAR waters, Steve surrendered the 97 crown to 20-year thorn Sammy Swindell, only to regain it in 98. Mark and Carl held off Danny Lasoski to be the 99 champions. Steve won back the crown in 2000. It's doubtful that the great IMCA champion Bobby Grimm, barnstorming between the county fairs of the 50s, could have foreseen the six-figure paydays, luxury motor coaches, or skybox suites that are so much a part of sprint car racing today. And yet it was pioneers such as Grimm and Jan Opperman who helped pour the foundation for the greatest show on dirt, the Pennzoil World of Outlaws. Huh. Well, that was cute. Anyways, thanks for the raid, Indigo. We were watching this historical movie. Yeah, I like how they went from... 
So here's the origins of the sprint cars, and then didn't even mention the wings, and it's just like, here's all the champions. <laughs> We're going to have to call up Slapshoe to see if, and show him this and see if he can do it better. By that, I mean he would absolutely do it better. That was, that was a neat video, though. I like that. Um, so yeah, there's that, but there's also a couple more things I want to take a look at here. First off is the arcade mode. They ban roll cages, a guy dies, they're like, oh fuck, roll cages. Um, first of all, championship mode, it's literally just the World of Outlaws championship with different difficulties and dirt 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 dir. And no mention of where the wings came from. Uh, it was fuck it, outlaw difficulty, I guess. So, I like how uh, each of the drivers have like their own like little introductory video thing. Steve Kinzer. Steve Kinzer, from Bloomington, Indiana, started racing in. Oh, he's from Bloomington. I didn't know that. And, and still doing it, uh, uh, running the Quaker State Number Eleven. My father raced, and uh, it was always it's always been a part of my life. Uh, racing's been real well to me, and uh, like I said, it's given me an opportunity to do a, a lot of other things in life that I, I wouldn't have a chance to do. You know, I don't want to. I, do, I don't want to get beat so bad. <laughs> I think I think that's the reason we've had the, the, the success we've had is uh, uh, not the glory of winning, but the, the fear of getting outran and getting beat. <laughs> and I'm always going to be a part of racing, no matter what. That's what we're here for. We plan on trying to win this point championship. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't realize like how long these videos were. Yeah, we have we have the entire Outlaws uh, roster that's in the game. There's a lot of ones that are locked, which I think you actually need to do the championship mode in this game to unlock them. Um, I'm not doing that because it's literally just the same Outlaws season as in the career mode. Except I'm not driving my own car. But, uh... What's more interesting is uh, some of the tracks. So, uh, we got our... 12 normal tracks in the game, and then we have a couple bonus tracks, which are also uh, currently locked, but it's okay, I will unlock them as soon as I fucking find out how. Williams Grove Speedway in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania, home of the Pennsylvania Posse and some of the toughest local competition the Penn's Royal World of Outlaws mm. face. Okay. Figured it out, it's fine. I just, I just want to go on the, uh, the bonus tracks, and then that'll be the end of the game. Got a fucking ramp. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What I need to do, I need to go career mode. And I need to make a new profile. What the fuck? Okay. It's gonna take a minute. It's a very silly uh, name I have to enter. Ah, damn it. I'd be quicker just to do this. I'd love to explore all the different tracks and see, like, all the, like, dumb shit. There's a fucking ramp at, a uh, on the front straight at Las Vegas that I really want to jump off of. Joe Mama. It's, it's Joey Jojo. Is this a fucking Jojo reference? What the fuck? The number doesn't matter. I just... Funny haha. Alright, that should unlock the tracks. There's also another one for unlocking the drivers. Oh shit, no, I don't want to watch the tutorial. Eat a dick. Oh, we're not going through that like nine minute video again. Alright. Hopefully... That unlock the tracks. I'm gonna do this on the outlaw difficulty. I'm probably not gonna win all these, but you know, fuck it. All right. Yeah, the tracks are unlocked. Okay. So I didn't unlock the drivers. That one is uh, apparently. If I the cat would get out of the way, I can tell you what the cheat code for the drivers is. It's called Mighty Masta. M I T Y M A S T A. Anyways, uh, let's just go through the bonus tracks. So, uh, first up, we have Rattler Valley. Doesn't have a video or anything. Oh, uh, this one's one and one sixth mile oval. 
Two crossover loops, as long as Titus and Lisa are getting track in which she'll ever race. Out in the middle of nowhere, with tunnels winding through rock face. Definitely a track for the drivers rather than the spectators. Yeah, uh, we're just going to do short, brief races, because I just want to do like a little race to look at the tracks. And show what silly bonus tracks we have in the game. I've driven these before, they're interesting. So here's the first one, Rattler Valley. Here we go. Oh, yep, I've already forgotten. I don't remember the track. Already you can see this is not a, just a standard oval. Oh fuck, oh god, oh man, okay. It's fine, don't worry about it. Tight hairpin. Uh, I've forgotten how to drive a sprint car, apparently. Of course, I'm not used to these tight of turns. Yeah, almost have right turns. And we have a big old fucking, just big old turn there. Anyways, that was one lap. It was not a good lap, but it was a lap. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of some of the, like, the drift courses in Juice 2. Where it's just a big old just fucking spiral. And just constantly turning in one direction. I can't fucking drive. <laughs> that was almost a jump there. I wish there was like track maps because I want to. I want to see the map for this track. Oh shit! Big wheelie. I actually hit the fucking bottom of the car. Whoops! I thought the the nose was gonna lower eventually. It did not. Oh my god! This tunnel hairpin. Describes, oh god, oh fuck. <laughs> Probably. Someone just drew a bunch of circles in each other on a piece of paper. Someone gave like their five year old a crown, just like make a couple circles. I'm like, okay. Choo choo choo. So, 45-80. Not, not particularly good lap, but... Qualified 15th, let's go. What was the poll time? Into your name. Uh... Period. That's my name. 41-33 was poll. That was four seconds off. I was almost last, actually, because there's only 16 cars here. Alright, well, fuck it. A main, let's go. I guess the short, the brief uh, layout is just qualify race. A cat. Ten laps, though. I didn't think it'd be that long. Oh, I was gonna be like five. All right, well here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm very interested in seeing how the AI deals with this track. Oh, Kinder is. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. Well, at least I'm not the only one spinning in this tunnel hairpin. Fuck. No. 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 Damn it. Come on! Yeah! Alright, cool. Actual physics, let's go. Oh, fuck! Hillenberg. Hey, there's the leader. He's in the tunnel. Let's go. Oh, hi. Hi, Andy. 
How you doing? Jesus Christ. All right, well, that was the first lap. Oh, the uh, frame rates. <laughs> PS2 is not liking this. Oh my God. Oh, things are happening. I'm not in last. Oh, shit. Almost flipped my car again. A little bit chaotic. I'm up to 12th. Let's go. I'm not. There's no way in hell I'm winning this. Okay, I just want to run the race. Uh huh. That actually kind of worked out. I got to run out of the hairpin and just zoom. Ow, ow. It's fine, don't worry about it. Four three, my best lap yet. Pole was a forty one, so I'm still very slow. Uh huh. It's okay. Everyone's on the struggle bus with me. Oh, my right front's gonna fucking go kaput before I finish this race. This is this track is cool, by the way. I, I'm really cool that Ratbag did this. Let's just make a crazy fucking track for like a bonus track. Of course, there's there's multiple bonus tracks. This isn't the only one. Just slam into the inside wall. Oh fuck! Hi, how you doing? Up seventh, we're in the top half of the field. Let's go. Making progress. I'm also actually learning the track, like which turns are when. And how tight they are. I swear, we have like every single fucking turn radius in the game on this one track. Jeez, fucking wheelie. Oh, problem is, I have no idea where P6 is. God, that's a violent landing. Of course, I also got on the brakes. These cars were definitely not built for tracks that undulate like this. That's for damn sure. Oh, is that P6? I see him. Oh, we're in the 43s. Let's go. New PB. I just really like that on dirt. Yeah. Oh, someone's wrecked out. Okay. Well, that sucks. Whoop. We're good. Everything's fine. Did I get an illegal lap penalty? Better not have. Oh my god, it's happening. It's all happening. Oh, oh. Okay. So I think what might have happened there was uh, the leader had already started lap seven and I was still in lap six or something. I don't remember. I don't know. That was weird. Whatever. I actually lost. A I, act I think I actually did lose a lap. Fuck. Well, 
Well, so much for finishing, going for sixth. Uh, I lost a lap. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, that lap didn't count, so I'm still on lap seven. God damn it. All right, apparently, uh... Another caution. <laughs> game really did that, yeah. I don't think the game could comprehend the absolute just <laughs> length of this track. And guess what? I'm still in lap seven. <laughs> I'm still a lap down, god damn it. This is the lap that never ends. God, both of my front. Fucking... Just everything is broken. I'm lap seven three times now, yes. Make that four. Because now the cautions are just flying. Oh, I was paying attention, yes. Also, this track is, uh, unlike the, uh, all the, like, the real tracks, uh, the game does not wait until the green flat, or until I'm on the front straight to give me control. Oh my god. You know, I might just win this race from everyone crashing out the tunnel. That might be what happens here. That doesn't bring out a caution, I'll be surprised. Oh, it's a snack. I mean, it's a video game, it's all fantasy. This is not a real racetrack. Oh, there goes my car. Alright, right front has been busted. Oh well. Oh, I should have looked the replay, damn it. Oh well. So that was that track. <laughs> That was that was funny. So uh Yeah. <laughs> up seven. Yeah, so that was Rattler Valley. Uh interesting. Uh next up we have Canyon Run. So this state of the art one mile track, again, is a double loop with a crossover and features both dirt and asphalt sections. It's a true test of your skills and offers a spectacle for the fans with its extended stadium seating, picturesque surroundings. So we're going to have a mixed surface double loop. Uh, I am afraid. I'm just going to skip qualifying and go straight to the race. Only 10 finished. That's more than who finished the uh, 1L Dora race I did. Oh, yeah, it's his track. Okay. Here we go. So this is our only asphalt uh, surface of the game. Well, I guess other than the Bristol pit lane, but... The only asphalt surface we actually race on. Ah! I've been sandwiched. This one's a little less ridiculous than uh, the Valley one, but it's still pretty interesting just because of its double loop. And also the fact that the outside loop is tarmac. Or at least most of it. It's a much more, much, uh, this, this track's definitely way more suited for these cars than the Valley. <laughs> like, I, I can actually drive this track. We're not just kind of flinging our cars, hoping for the best. Also, grip is relatively unchanged between asphalt and dirt. Got a little more grip on the asphalt, it feels like, but... Overall, it's relatively the same. Could have added a right turn. Oh, God, yeah. I think Ratbag knew it's like... I feel like they tried making a track with right turns, and then they quickly realized, oh, these cars can't do that. Well, how do we make silly fantasy tracks? Fuck it, double loop. Okay. I'm glad that they did that. I would not want to turn this car right. That's for sure. 
Also, 32 second lap. Which means this is a uh, just under 120 mile per hour average lap time or speed. what tunnels are meant to do. You're a tunnel. Go. Oh, shit. Okay, almost hit Lasoski. We're good. I'm actually really having fun with this track. I'm not going to lie. Hey, this is fun. This is cool. I like these bonus tracks. Oh, that big that big elevation change though. Car don't like that. Get around Lasoski. I'll just bully him out of my way, I guess. Oh. You can hear the tire squeal sounds on the tarmac. For sure, it's the only time you'd be able to hear this sound. All right, next on the uh, overtake list is Kinzer, Steve Kinzer, the man, the myth, the legend. I'm actually catching him. If I actually qualify for this. I think I'd probably have a chance at winning. Or at least finishing on the podium. Oh shit. Alright, we're good. Over rotate a little. Saved it. Hi, Steve. <laughs> I like seeing the, uh, I like when I see the cars on, like, the other side of the track. That's cute. They're just doing their thing over there. Oh god, almost rammed into the back of Steve. Well, I got two more laps. I can get this top five. Let me just punt him out of the way like an asshole. Not how I wanted to make that pass, but here we are. Ooh. Oh, that damaged the fuck out of something. I think my wing. Whatever the hell I hit. I think the best we're going to do is fifth here. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention when it, about that history video. It's actually kind of cool how the outlaws got their... How... That I learned how the outlaws got their name. Cool. All right, so we ended up fit. Oh, that's a good camera angle. I think they only made uh, camera angles for this little uh, inner loop. <laughs> they didn't think about the outer loop. Meow. <laughs> or the camera placement is just fucked up. So now we're getting the out. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, let's see if I can fix this. Uh, change the camera. I fixed it! Alright, cool. Got the correct cameras now. Yeah. Look at me go. This is a really fun track. <laughs> no lie. A lot more tame than the other one. Than the valley track, but like... Very fun to drive.
Alright. That was cool. So, fifth place. We're in a 3102. Texas games. Days. I'd love. Man, I would love to see Fantasy Tracks return to license racers. It's lost art, unfortunately. Alright, so I definitely wouldn't have caught Jack, but. I was 11 seconds behind him, and he was running faster than me, but. That was cool. But now we have yet one more bonus track, and it is. Icy Eldora Fun Park. So, take a drive around the legendary Eldora Speedway in Rossburg, Ohio, in the winter. Winter Eldora. The track isn't prepared for sprint cars at this time of the year, but you might want to check out what's set up on the inside of the track when they're not expecting you. Stay frosty. So, uh... I'm going to enter a qualifying session just... just because... So this is a different flavor of silly. So yeah, uh, this is Eldora covered in snow. Oh god, yeah, and the snow is not grippy at all. All right, now the reason why I went to the qualifying session is so I could do this. So if we go into the infield here, uh, you'll notice we have some uh, we have some stuff. First of all, we got some fucking ramps. Want to ramp a bunch of trailers? Sure, why not? Tractor trailers? Also, there's a there's just a, a hockey rink in here. There's an ice hockey rink. If only car hockey was in this game. Rat bag logo in the center. Did they need to do this? No. Did they do it? Yes. This is cute. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to hit this ramp. I'm gonna try to clear the trucks. Nope, 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 nope. Bad approach. the The snow is definitely a lot slippery. I fucking missed the ramp. God damn it! Oh, almost stalled out. Forgot there's no gear in this thing, so there's no reverse gear. Oh, land it, land it, no, no, no. Yeah, landed it. Car's broken. <laughs> Did it. That was a hell of a backflip. Over-rotated slightly. If I landed, if I actually landed that, that would have been amazing. Yeah, a whole ass backflip. Now let's see how we actually, how this track actually races. Very curious. Oh, apparently I still have uh, whatever that center thing is for damage. All right, here we go. Ten laps at Snow Eldora, Winter Eldora. Oh my God, there's no grip. Oh, I think that center thing is engine. Yeah, I, I, I got engine damage. Okay, maybe. I don't know. My God! Everyone's just slipping around everywhere. You even get clump clumps of a uh, snowy dirt on the uh, visor. That's cute. Racing in a winter wonderland. <laughs> we. I feel like this is what people, like some people who uh, didn't, who don't know about like dirt oval racing and shit, thinks dirt oval racing is like. You're just sliding around with no grip whatsoever. <laughs> just got the fucking throttle pinned. Just spinning the shit out of the rear tires. Oh, there we go. Someone's upside down. That was Mark Kinzer. 
Oh, there's there's the big wreck. I had a feeling when that was going to happen. Or I had a feeling that 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 was going to happen. I can't fucking speak. Excuse me, sir. Not like this. They probably need studded tires. And I don't want to deal with the potential hazards of uh, someone getting impaled by one of the studs on the tires. Oh, I might actually win this. We're schmoovin'. Excuse me. Sneak on the inside. Worked for Kinzer. Didn't work for Hillenburg. There we go. Bye bye. Oh, oops. I jumped the snow cushion. Whoops. Gotta say, Winter Eldora, very fun. The lack of grip actually made this track way more interesting to drive. This was cool. Can't get it. Cool. Winter. Snow. Ha ha ha. That was unintentional. Just neon. Sail it into turn one. How much grip do I have? Oh, none. Okay. Love to see it. So anyways, that's the bonus tracks. Um, I think that's everything, really. Oh, hey, I've unlocked a new driver. Cool. Kevin Goldbrecht. Yeah, I don't exactly know how the drivers and tracks are unlocked in this mode, and I don't really care to find out. Or to do it. But that's all the uh, bonus tracks. That was cool. That's pretty much everything in the game. So uh, one last thing I want to do to send this game off is I want to go to Vegas. Because I want to jump off that damn ramp that's over here. I, I just want to. I, I, I want to do it. There it is. They're like a little... Uh, the way the infield setup looks almost looks like there's another little track inside. Oh my god. After driving on the fucking snow, I'm, like, the just standard dirt feels so grippy. Oh, there's two ramps. Ooh. Whoops. Well, there goes my front wing. Also, this lap is counting? Oh, never mind. Okay, there it goes. Alright. Let's jump. Go ahead and jump. Jump! Oh, shit. Sick McTwist. Oh! Alright, I'm ready for Monster Jam. Let's go. That was sick. That was actually awesome. Oh, okay, there's just a big-ass dip here. Broomp. Go. Woohoo! Oh, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh, there goes the top wing, there goes the chassis, there goes my car. Okay. That is bouncing. <laughs> well, uh, I think that's that's it. 
I think I'm done with this game now. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, turn off the timer. And that, my friends, was World of Outlaws Sprint Cars 2002. Let me bring, get my fucking thing. Yeah, good finish to big left turn game, yeah. That was fun. Fun little game with a, I haven't done like a racing game with a licensed game with like a career mode in a while, so that was cool. But, that's that. So, uh, yeah. Cool game. Um, I'm really hoping that uh, Monster Games uh, World of Outlaws game is good whenever it comes out. Really hoping. So, uh, but yeah, fun game. This is, uh, I think it holds up pretty well. It's got some, you know, a little rough around the edges. The career is fairly bare bones, but that's, this is also one of the first licensed racing games with a career mode, so, like a full career mode with multiple series and shit, but, uh, yeah, I enjoyed my time with this, and I hope you enjoyed your time watching it. Because uh, that's it, so. Um, that's all I got. So, uh, hey. If you want to try this game out for yourself, maybe fire up a PS2 emulator or download a PC version or actually buy a physical copy. Do whatever. It's a pretty cool game. Pretty cool game. I think it was this was one of the last games that Ratbag developed. Like, rat, last racing games that Ratbag developed before they uh, went under. But, uh... Yeah, that's that. So, that's the end of World of Outlaws. Sprint Calls 2002. Thanks for watching. Uh, everyone on here live on Twitch, stay, because we're going to watch like the credits video, I guess, and then sign off properly. But, uh, to everyone watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for my next Let's Play, whatever it may be. I don't know.